In this video, we will show you how to replace your rear brakes on this Honda Civic. These will be located directly behind your rear wheel. Let's get into it. Okay friends, let's get started on our job. The first thing you want to do is safely raise and support the rear of the vehicle with the suspension hanging so the wheel can spin freely. Once you've done that, remove all five of your 19 millimeter lug nuts, the hubcap, and the wheel. Now that we have the wheel out of the way, let's remove the brake drum. To do this, we want to tap right along this area with a hammer, causing some vibration to be able to break this free without hitting any of the lug studs. Remove your brake drum. Now the next thing we'll do is try to remove any of the existing brake dust from in the area. You want to be careful not to use compressed air because otherwise the brake dust might make its way into your face. We'll make sure we have a collection bucket under the area so we can use some parts cleaner. Now that we have the brake dust out of the way, Let's clean up the mating surface on our wheel bearing so when we go to put all the brand new brakes together with the brand new drum, this will have a clean mating surface. We'll use a wire brush. Now let's continue on with some long nose pliers. Grab onto this spring, pull it out of the hole, and remove it from the area. We do not want to damage these springs because we will be reusing them. Give it a quick inspection and set it aside. The next thing we'll do is start removing our upper mounting spring. For this, it will be easiest to grab and hold onto with some cutters, but you want to be extremely careful not to physically cut the spring or damage it in any way. Pop that out of there. Give the spring a quick inspection, you'll find that the rearward side has a shorter hooked area than the forward side. It's something to keep in mind for during the installation. Now we can remove the adjuster lever. Let's get this out of here. Use some long nose pliers. We're going to come over to our anchor pins. For the anchor pins, you'll find that they go straight through the anchor clips. And then of course through that backing plate as well. For this, we'll be grabbing on to the pin. Before I actually squeeze on it, I want to push in on the clip a little bit, grab the pin, and twist it until it aligns properly and we can remove this. You can tell on the clip, you have a straight slot right there. And on the pin itself, it has a flat blade. So you want to make sure that's aligned properly. Now I'll reach in along the back side and remove that pin. We'll make sure that we're giving all of the mounting hardware a quick inspection as we remove it. Now we can reach in here and grab that adjuster. We will be taking this apart to clean it. For now, go ahead and set it aside. Now I'm going to pull the shoe down and we'll remove our final spring along the bottom here. There's one of our shoes, the spring. Now let's make our way to the rearward shoe and remove that anchor pin with mounting clip. Now we can remove the parking brake lever from our rearward shoe. On the inboard side, you're going to find that you have a horseshoe clip. We're going to be reusing this clip and the mounting pin. 
To remove this clip, you can try several things. I'm going to use a flat blade screwdriver to start spreading it, and then I'll use some pliers to press it out of the position. There's our clip. Now we can remove the lever and remove the pin. The next thing that we're going to do is clean down the backing plate where our brand new brake shoes will sit. On this backing plate, you'll find that you have six raised areas, three along the back side and three along the front. You want to make sure those are as clean as possible. Now that we have that clean, let's continue on to cleaning our adjuster. To clean it, you want to disassemble it completely. This should come apart into three pieces. We will clean it and then re-lubricate it. Now that I have all three pieces of that hardware cleaned, I'm going to re-lubricate it. You can either use some high temperature caliper lubricant in this area or a little bit of anti-seize. I'll put some right along the threaded area and start screwing in the far side. We'll bring this all the way up to the adjustment cog. Now we can add a little bit of lubricant to the smooth area here and install the adjuster cap. At this point, this is fully cleaned and lubricated. Let's get ready for the installation of our brand new brake shoes. Let's take our pin and slide it through the upper area of our brand new shoe. Let's use some of that high temperature caliper lubricant along the back side where that pin goes through the shoe. We'll take this and put it in position. Continue on with your horseshoe clip. We'll slide it over the groove in the pin and then squeeze it together to lock it in. Double check to make sure that's completely secure so it does not fall apart on you while you're driving down the road. This is perfect. Continuing with our high temperature caliper lubricant, we're going to lubricate all of the raised areas on the backing plate where those brand new shoes will sit. Down along the bottom, you have an area that the shoe rests against. We'll lubricate that area and the same on the other side. Now we can start swinging that shoe up into the proper position, but while we do so, you want to pay attention to this e-brake spring. Bring it up and over this area behind the wheel bearing. Once it's properly placed, this should make its way into the proper placement as well. Now we'll continue on with our anchor pin and our mounting clip. We'll take that pin from the back side of the backing plate and bring it right on through. Now with that facing through, we have the blade in the upright position facing up and down. Take your clip. You'll notice that the slot also faces up and down. At this point, we're going to squeeze the clip in and twist the anchor pin.
Twist the pin until it's sitting completely sideways. Let's install this. Let's continue on with our upper spring, making sure that we have the shorter hook facing towards the rear of the vehicle. Now that we've done that, we'll take our forward shoe and we'll put the spring in the proper positioning all the way in this slot. Now we can swing that shoe over the wheel cylinder, being careful not to damage it in any way. Align it with the area on the adjuster. Before we go too much further, let's continue on with the adjuster lever. We'll be sliding that into the proper position and that should slide behind the adjuster. Right in this area right here. Now let's move to the lower spring. Once you have that in the proper position, we'll align the shoes with the anchor point in the center. There we are. Pull the spring under this area. Now we can do the anchor pin and mounting clip for the forward shoe. Time for our final spring. We'll start with the top, put it right inside that adjuster lever. Now we'll bring the bottom area down to this hole. Double check to make sure it's completely secure. Before we go too much further, let's talk about the adjustment of the shoes. Right inside this area, you remember that cogged area? That is where you'd want to come in with a screwdriver and you can adjust this out, bringing the shoes outward up against the brake drum. Or you can use a pick to grab onto this, pull it away and adjust it the opposite direction so it loosens the shoes. Now the next thing we'll do is take our drum, slide it in place. Once you have it on there fully, Try spinning it a little bit. We're listening for drag. If you can hear a little bit of scraping, typically that means that you could adjust it a little bit more. But if it feels as though there's a lot of drag, that's going to cause a braking issue. You will have to de-adjust it. Right here, I can feel that there's a little bit of drag and you can hear it. That feels perfect. At this point, we'll remove the drum and continue on with some anti-seize along the mating surface of the wheel bearing. Okay, let's go ahead and reinstall that wheel. If you have a hubcap, install that. Making sure that you align your valve stem hole. Start on each of your 19 millimeter lug nuts. We'll bottom them out and get the wheel on the ground. Now we can bottom out each of these lug nuts in a crisscross manner. Now with the wheel safely on the ground, we'll continue on torquing these to 80 foot pounds in a crisscross manner. Torqued. Okay friends, we showed you how to install one side of your rear brakes. The process will be the exact same thing for the other side of the vehicle. After that, hop inside the passenger compartment and pump up that brake pedal till it's nice and firm. 
Take your vehicle for a road test. Make sure you don't hear any funny noises. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.